Hello Scorpio and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Scorpio. Sun, moon rising in Venus so I hope you're well. As always the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So welcome Scorpio. Let's see what we have for you for the week ahead. What do we have for our lovely Scorpios, angels, spirits, guides, message for Scorpio? So we have maybe some conflict, the Five of Wands. And we have the Five of Cups. Above that we have the Lovers. Lovers are two people generally, can be love romantic, can be, for example, business partnerships as well. This feels like there's a, either inner conflict, could well be to do with some external conflict, not be feeling on the same page. It might well be if I don't, um, if I don't sort this out, I might regret it. And therefore, it might well be that you're trying to find some kind of solution here in how to move forward. And yeah, beneath that we have the world. Could be the world is completion of one cycle, potentially stepping through to a brand new one. However that would manifest for you, it can represent deeper commitment in relationships or completions of that. And it might well be that that's what's at play here. The world can either represent a, a significant ending of one cycle or an opportunity to move to the next level, complete one cycle and move to the next level. I mean, we always move through the, the world. We always, you know, step through the world to a brand new beginning, but how that's going to happen for you. There's a feeling of some kind of conflict here. My, and it's kind of like, do I, do I need to provide some kind of solution or I might regret it? Immediate past, we have the moon, fears, doubts, insecurities, sometimes, um, can be subconscious fears and doubts, scars, can be scars from the past that leave that kind of indelible mark that we can't always see, but can, can always influence our behavioral patterns and how, how we move forward. So this is, there is uncertainty. You might be having to face some kind of fear or uncertainty or worry. There could well be fear of losing a relationship as well. I mean, this is either the, with two people being in the reading, this is either you or the other person as well. Sometimes we have to face our fears and understand them. Bring them into the light, you know, to be resolved. Let's see what we have for you in the immediate past. Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles can be in terms of money. Can also be linked with retirement, if that's a conflict or issue. Uh, can also be linked with long-term committed relationships, marriage and putting down roots. Bottom two cards, we have the Knight of Swords and the King of Cups, which is the card of Scorpio. This is decisively moving forward by offering something. And also seeing the truth. I mean, you know, Knight of Swords is a truth energy. It's a clear energy, you know, being very clear in terms of what you need to do. So let's see what we have for you as an oracle message. What do we have for Scorpio? Message for Scorpio, thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Yeah, <laughs> that's that feeling round and round. Uh, number 25, but there's fear here in terms of potentially losing something or that you might regret something if you don't sort this out one way or another. feels like you want to bring to a completion some kind of conflict uh, that's been going round and round. But remember the, the five of, of ones is fire energy. It can, it can take on its own kind of like force, you know, its own kind of like life force in terms of getting stronger and stronger, you know. So it looks like you want to uh, potentially stop this and decide how you're going to move forward here. 
because you don't want to go round and round in circles anymore, yeah, with this kind of conflict, you know, batting it, batting it to and fro, to and fro. There is a relationship at a crossroads here, and there's a decision that needs to be made, either about the relationship itself or in another area of life. For some of you, there could well be deep-seated fears, um, scars from the past, like, again, subconscious fears, and that generally comes from when we've been, we've gone through some kind of deep, profound you know, uh, hurt in our life maybe in the past could be on a past relationship, for example, if this is focused solely on relationship. And it makes us, it, it gives us fear, a real kind of like that real fear in terms of moving forward in certain, to a certain extent in relationships, because you might have been here before and been deeply wounded and deeply hurt. It might also be that you don't feel that you're ready. You might not be feeling that you're ready. Or your fear that you're going to lose another person. Let's see what we have for you as a crystal angel message. What do we have with this reading for Scorpio? We have Aquamarine Divine Life Purpose. Trust the signs and your inner guidance, which are leading you to fulfillment. I mean, that seems like a pretty clear message from spirit with this reading you know intuitively what you need to do which the king of cups does you know the king of cups there's a lot going on inside as well you know with the king of cups energy uh, but i think you're offering something now the king of cups is scorpio for me as a reader so this is either somebody deciding i mean that could well be an important conversation but this feels like uh, acting decisively moving forward either you are doing that or the other person is is, is moving forward with something that you want in terms of your heart, you know? But there's a, it feels like uh, there's, there's, this is, this is breaking some kind of cycle here of going round and round, inner conflict, external conflict, whatever that would be for you, not feeling on the same page as the other person. I think that you're acting, you're acting in a decisive manner here. Even though they, I, think, I feel that there is that sense here of, of uncertainty, doubt, lack of clarity. Now, the world here in the lovers, this either represents, this feels like um, moving to the next level or something potentially completing. That's what's at stake here. So that's the choice to make or a decision here, Scorpio, which will bring an end to this conflict once and for all. We have the Ten of Pentacles, long-term committed relationships, marriage. It can also be linked with moving or relocating. Um, so it can be to do with home and property. Uh, it can also be to do with um, re deciding to retire, you know. Um, it might well be the other person has already retired and they're waiting for you to retire, but you weren't sure if you were ready for that or not. And there's a lot of uncertainty in terms of and fear because it is the unknown factor when we kind of close off one phase of our life and step through to a brand new one. So again, this Ten of Pentacles could be about a retirement issue as well in the sense that there has been, you know, conflict going round and round in circles. You know, it could even be if some kind of retirement package has been offered to you, it might well be that there's conflict in terms of whether you accept it or not. And it might well be that there's that sense here of, I, I don't know whether if I say no to this, I might regret it. I might not get a better deal. It might not come round again, you know. It might well be a timely thing as well, if it's money areas. I mean, this is what's at play here. This feels like um, home property, deepening a relationship and a commitment. For others of you, it feels like retirement. But I think that this is absolutely moving forward and doing the right thing, you know. This absolutely feels like moving forward in truth. A decisive movement forward here um, is what I'm seeing here, Scorpio. So, and this is that life purpose energy. I know this is what I need to do and I know I need to move forward on this path and this is the clear direction that I need to move on now is what I'm seeing for you here. And again, the world card can be something completing. So again, it could well be, you know, there's there's a completion of some kind here. You know, and if it was retirement, uh, you know, do you do you do you take this deal? Are you ready to retire? Are you ready to complete things? 
or and start something new, but it's a bit scary because it's the unknown. I don't know if I'm ready for that, and there may well be some conflict again with your other half about that. I mean, the same energy applies. It just feels like moving from, stepping through from one phase of your life into another, but we always move to the next level. We take all that we learn and move forward. Um, so again, this completion could be something that affects a relationship as well. This is what I see for you here, Scorpio. Scorpio. I think that you are... I mean, there's an opportunity here for abundance, uh, stability and security, uh, putting down roots is the energy at play here. And I think there's an opportunity to move decisively forward here, almost like break the cycle, you know, break that sense of conflict. Because uh, again, life purpose is this is how I'm moving forward and this is how my life is going to unfold. Looks like spirits agreeing with you in terms of your moving forward in the right direction here. You just need to trust your intuition here with the King of Cups and heart energy as well. All right, what do we have for our lovely Scorpios? Message from heaven, whatever heaven means to you. We have make room for that happy ending. It's now within your grasp, number two, yeah. Bottom of the deck, we have take control of the situation. We know you can do this, number three. Scorpio, that's what I have for you for the week ahead. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful week. I will see you next time.